Good evening, guys. Yeah, we're told about 100 structures, mostly residential, were damaged through all of this. It's estimated the tornado was about three blocks wide and travelled about three miles. The sheer of it, bringing down a lot of trees, a lot of branches, a lot of that lying around on the ground right now. They're in the process of getting chopped up as we speak. Some of the houses here had damage to their roofs. Others lost their roofs entirely, as you can see right behind me. But the most important thing is no lives were lost in all of this, which is amazing considering everything folks were facing when those sirens went off. At approximately 1048, our tornado alarms were sounded uh, because there was a sighting of a tornado. After that, it was all hands on deck for Woodridge, but those early warning sounds saved lives. Along the track of this storm, you see instances where homes have had their, their walls torn off, their roof torn off, um, and people who are able to get to the basement or to a safe central room. After the sirens, the phones started ringing. Once the tornado touched down, we had uh, over 200 calls of, uh, for service. Those were for downed power lines, small fires, uprooted trees, and frantic relatives hoping loved ones were okay. People couldn't get out of their garages. There was damage to the doors. Um, there was debris in the way. Some people were elderly. Some people were uh, had medical issues. They were on oxygen. An overwhelming task for first responders racing in to help as Mother Nature raged around them. Uh, it was difficult, but they, they handled the situation tremendously. As morning broke, the true devastation was revealed. I've lived in Woodridge since 19. 1967, and um, I do not personally remember any type of an event like this. The cleanup will happen over time, but the impact you don't see could last much longer. I'm just emotional because it is devastating to drive through the community that I grew up in and worked in and share with so many wonderful neighbors. Because watching your home, your belongings, your life ripped apart and tossed aside in mere moments understandably can take a toll. It's like a bomb went off. And that's the way a lot of tornadoes are described. That's why, in addition to all the things you'd expect, the Red Cross has resources on hand you might not initially think of. If the family or the individual is suffering a little bit more, then maybe that person can help. We have disaster mental health professionals. These are licensed clinical social workers. They're practitioners that can help us out. They're set up at Thomas Jefferson Junior High School, and they'll be here as long as they're needed. Our job is to help people in times of need, and we're going to help alleviate that human suffering. We're not going to leave until the last person's taken care of.